In Wing Chun, it is very important that because everything is close range, that, we'll be able, that we have to be able to generate power um, in a very short range and without actually having to uh, bring the fist back. Okay? For example, if I am fighting at this sort of close range, and if I have to hit check and I have to actually bring my fist up like this, the, by the time I actually pull back, I'm already lost. Okay, so I must be able from here generate short range power, right, in order to um, to damage the opponent. Okay, now the short range power, a lot of people thought that okay, the one inch punch, I tense up to hit, right. On the contrary, you want to train your body in such a way that the body turns into a steel spring. So you basically, it's like the body is already knocking out itself, but you're actually relaxing and letting go into it. So therefore, you can see that if you look at me, I'm actually like relaxing into my strike. Much like I'm flicking with my finger, I'm tense here, but I'm relaxed here. Okay, so now, close range power, which means that like, let's say from here, if I need to generate a, um, a striking power, okay, I'm not pushing with my pushing with my arm like this, right? But from from this position, I'm actually using my entire body, right? Go bam, straight into it. The more power I can generate short range, the hard the harder it is for the opponent to deal with. Of course, like in real fight, right? We will not have time for this kind of of um, second hands, okay? The guard is here, I would need to actually like get rid of these guards very, very quickly, okay? Again, the one inch power. Um, I just do it slowly this time, okay? If I actually have to like block this, move the hand this far, and then come back to, to cut check, right? By the time I move here and move back, check would have covered me already. So again, I need the one inch power, so that like, I only need to move this much, Right, to move Chek's arm away that far. Okay, so let's say if I'm fighting with the opponent, right, then I can have this springiness, right. If I do it wrong, uh, try to counter me, Jack. Yeah. If I do it wrong, I have to move this much. I'm gone already, right. But if I do it right, right, you see that like I'm actually, I, I actually have to like snap a little bit, right, and I'm ready. I'm already in, okay? So this snappiness is very, very important. So in real fighting situation, um, wrong way, okay, we will we'll fight. All right? I'm gone because like, I have to move too much, check just have to move forward with his arm, okay? In the real, in the real fighting situation, right? You will notice that like, I'm actually like covering and I'm striking already. Split second here is already gone. For safety reason, I was just I was doing the chest. Imagine in a real fight, I won't be aiming at that, but I, I just do it slowly, don't worry. But I would actually be using all this, the springy steel power to this sort of things. I'll be twisting, jerking this way, right at the chin, and basically I'll be firing the opponent off through the head and neck area to cause the maximum damage.